lines. There's room for you, and here's some for me. Or you must wear your rule with a difference. There's a daisy. I would give you some violets, but they withered all when my father died. Lovely, darling. Now, just try and learn the lines. We open in two weeks. OK, Hamlet, let's have you. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. No, 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 no. You're not showing me sadness. Speak to me. Show me your feelings. Try acting, my boy. That's a bit too sad, dear. Oh, piss off. Ooh, touchy. Solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Or that the everlasting had not fixed his cannon against self -sight. your dad picking you up? In a minute. He said he'd call you. <clears throat> you look very sad. Right. Save her, boys.
Bites shrewdly. It is fucking cold. Nay, be not sad, my lord. Sad, love and queen. If by an effort of the will I could annul the ever present past. Disperse the gaunt and gloomy ghosts of bygone deeds, or bind them with imperishable chains in caverns of the past incarcerate. Then could I smile again, but not till then. Oh, my dear lord, if aught there be that gives thy soul unrest, tell it to me. Well loved and faithful wife, Tender companion to my faltering life. Yes, I can trust thee. Listen then to me. Many years since, when by the headstrong lags, I wrote a five act tragedy. Catastrophe. Indeed. A play writ by a king. And such a king. Finds ready market. It was read at once, and there it was read accepted. Then the press teemed with portentous import. Elsinore was duly placarded by willing hands. We know that wolves have ears, I gave them tongues. And they were eloquent with promises. Even the dead wolves? Aye. The dead are they, the louder they proclaimed. Oh. That they approached. All Denmark stood agape. Arrangements were devised at once by which seats might be booked a twelve months in advance. And did the play succeed? In one sense, yes. Oh, uh, I was sure of it. Farce was given to play the people in. My tragedy succeeded that. That's all. And how long did it run? About ten minutes. There, the first act had traced one half its course. Then the curtain fell, never to rise again. And did the people hiss? No. Worse than that, they laughed. Oh, my good Lord, the house was surely packed. It was, by me. My favourite courtiers crowded every place. From floor to floor the house was peopled by the sycophantic crew. My tragedy was more than even sycophants could stand. Was it, my lord, so very, very bad? Not to deceive my trusting queen. It was catastrophe. And when the play failed, Didst thou take no steps to set thyself right with the world? I did. The acts were five, though by five acts too long. I wrote an act by way of epilogue, an act by which the penalty of death was meted out to all those who sneered at it. The play was not good, but the punishment for those that laughed at it was 